beginning of the week and it's Monday so today I have family law and property In property we're doing life estates and then family law we're doing fault-based divorces and then we're supposed to finish that up today and start no fault divorces and we've been doing like defenses to fault based divorces so that's what we were doing um property i have to find some way to go to his office hours because he has office hours monday and wednesday but i have class during that time so i can't go to them so i'm gonna have to email him and ask him for them because there was one case we were doing last week and i don't even know like it was one point i knew what was going on but it was just at some point i was just like what is this man even talking about like i don't even know what's going on no more and then somebody I talked to in the class asked me, do I know what's going on? And I said, no, do you? And she didn't know either. And I'm like, great. We all just sitting here clueless. Don't even have no clue what's going on. So that's great. But because of that, um, it was just that one case though. But because of that, I do want to go to office hours and make sure I got that case. So, because the life estates thing has like so many rules. Not even just life estates, but the estates and present interest and everything has so many rules to it. So you don't want to get them mixed up. So I'm going to make sure I go to office hours for that. But yeah, so that is the plan for today. And that's what's going on today. So I'll probably just see you guys on the road because it's 8.53. So I'm going to go ahead and put all my stuff in the car and head to school. Where's the war come to today? Burn that what have you done today? Let's change your life and change your ways of it in Jesus then go on Things like a river Love so divine Those words kept singing another day and I am on spring break so the plan for today is to at least get through as much of constitutional law as I can to put it into Quizlet so that way I can memorize the cases and the rules right now the most important part is for me to memorize the rules because as I memorize the rules then I'll be like oh, okay so Congress can't do this and the president can do that oh that was this case that demonstrated that so as long as I do that that will be good but that is the main thing for today and then later this week I'll just be studying in general and then also doing the same thing for property but property has a lot less rules so far and a lot less information for me to memorize right now so property shouldn't take as long as constitutional law is going to take me yeah we're going to see but that's the plan for today i already got my protein shake ready for me to drink and i got my laptop out so i'm just gonna go ahead and get to work because i definitely have a lot of work to do so i just i just opened my constitutional law outline and yeah this is 27 pages worth of stuff so that's great but i think i'm gonna break it up into like certain topics so that way i can get like all the rules and everything and then I should be good because even like stuff from the beginning um that we learned in constitutional law like that stuff I'm pretty sure I don't think this is at its brightest yeah that stuff I'm pretty sure that like I still even remember those so I don't think it will be too bad it's just some of this later stuff it's like a lot so but I don't know, the way that he lays it out in class, he almost lays it out like a list. So that's what I'm kind of, that's what I'm trying to do with Quizlet is maybe just to lay things out as a list. And also at some point, I'm going to do this calendar because even though we're almost halfway through March, my March calendar is empty. And I've got things coming up later this month that I need to have on my calendar so you can remember. Um, because law school brain i don't know if nobody's gonna tell you if anybody will tell you is a real thing because i'm forgetting stuff like i'm um 
like I'm old like old as a mug I mean so law school brain is seriously so crazy y'all um but yeah I'm gonna get into this quiz late because I forgot my password but oh it's really 26 pages worth of stuff that's great that's cute um but yeah I think that for me Quizlet is probably the best thing to help me memorize everything because I used it for history and I don't mess with history I don't know if I said this before but yeah I don't mess with history at all but when I used Quizlet for history it helped me to pass the class with an A so this history is something that I just really it's not even just struggle I just don't like do good in it because you know it's like you have to memorize dates and then when it's a date like 1846 or whatever you gotta be like okay what happened during that time and why did it happen and yada yada all that like that doesn't work well and mesh well in my mind you So it is a little bit past 8 now and I actually finished a little bit ago with constitutional law and then and now I'm working on property but I think I'm pretty much done for tonight so I will definitely make sure that I finish up with property and then I also want to do the same thing for all of the cases for constitutional law to add them into Quizlet <coughs> as well and then for property law to add all the cases into Quizlet as well it's just that property doesn't have as many cases and as many rules so far as constitutional law does so it took me a lot less time but I definitely don't think I'm gonna finish up property and everything tonight I definitely think tomorrow instead I'm just gonna use it to review this property quizlet for a few hours um and then probably do a little bit of probably do a little bit of property to be honest so I'll probably do a split day of like property and constitutional law tomorrow and then Thursday I'll probably do crim and family law and then Friday I'll come back to add the cases for constitutional law and then do property hopefully um and then we'll see if I get to the property law cases there's not that many but we'll see and then so that way saturday oh wait no i lied that will be saturday actually because friday i gotta wash this hair and then saturday either i'll do that oh wait no i actually have to read so for the next week saturday and sunday so yeah i think that's it's not too bad because since i'll be here all day i'll get like a whole bunch of hours in because I'll split up my day so I'll get several hours for each subject so it should be good because at the end of the day like even crim and family law I understand them so far like pretty well to where I don't think I need to spend like that much time reviewing them so I really might just like spend even more time on constitutional law the next day on Thursday so because I really want to like use this Quizlet, play the Quizlet games, which really helps with my memory and everything, to remember everything, and then I'll be good, so, um, yeah, because we're in March, we're in the deep trenches of the semester, just finished the ninth week of school, just last week, so, yeah, the semester is only, um, actually, I don't even know how long this semester is because I don't even pay attention because before I know it, I'm already done. 
So the semester is however long it is. But yeah, time just goes by so fast. And honestly, there's just so much that I have to do in so little time as well. That is crazy because I already have to think about the classes I'm going to take my 2L year. And I'm not even finished with 1L year yet. So that is wild. But I do because um, next month in April, the like schedule will open up for me to see the classes and everything. So I got to decide like what organizations I'm doing next year, what classes I'm going to take. And like if I'm going to do any externships for experience and everything. So I got to figure all of that out pretty much this month before the schedule comes out. So I already know like what classes I'm going to take. So, But I'll figure it out and like I always do. So yeah, but that is the update. I'm going to go take a shower because it's pretty late. And I should go ahead and get ready to head to bed because I took the day off from the gym today. But... I'm getting my butt up tomorrow at 9 a.m. to go to this gym and work out so I can feel nice and refreshed to study.